those of you who watched my previous video on this probe will remember that I did air tests with it and it came out pretty well. Um, on average it was about half a centimetre more than the Garrett. In the soil it's very different, very different indeed. Watch this, make up your own mind and then I'll give my verdict at the end. This is a bit of a field test for the MineLab Profine 25. I've also got the Garrett Pro Pointer as well and I've got a target here which the E-Track says is on the top so switch this fella on max power it is picking it up a little bit switch that off try the Garrett that is a much clearer signal both got new batteries in um, in air tests the mine lab was a little bit better in this particular situation the Garrett is much clearer this is the second signal Garrett saying there's something there. The slide switched on, max power again. Also says there's something there. But again, it isn't as clear as the Garrett. Here's another target just down here. First up. Mine lab. Very weak signal. I fell out of the way. Next one, Garrett. much stronger again with the Garrett. This is Jimmy's um, Garrett Pro Pointer, it's a little bit newer than mine. Very clear signal. Where's mine? I'll put mine on. Very clear signal again. Knock that one off. Mine lab. What the hell was it? It was, it was there somewhere. <laughs> it was in there. But I'll show you. Yep. That's another fail for the mine lab. Here's another target right on the top. This time the Garrett's first. Quite conclusive. Make sure it's on max power. This is the mine lab. Let's check it's switched on, yes it is. Nothing. Nothing at all. Get him out of the way, get the Garrett back in.
Now then, when I was sold this, I was told it would go an extra two centimeters. That's what the guy that had tested it apparently said. I won't say the name of the place I got it from, but I shall be on the phone to them on Monday morning, suggesting that perhaps I've got a dodgy one because uh, my results certainly do not concur with his. This is a nice signal, reading 12.35 on the E-Track. First up, mine lab. It says it's there, but it's very weak. Next up, Garrett. Very conclusive. This is going to be the last test because I'm starting to get quite irritated now. Not only by the probe but by the midges which are coming out as darkness approaches. This is a target right on the top here. This is the Garrett. Fairly conclusive as to where it is. Now we've got the mine lab. Max power. Turn it down just in case mine's wired up the wrong way. No, there's nothing. I've reduced the sensitivity. Why the hell you would want to ever reduce the sensitivity on a probe when the in ground tests are as poor as that compared to the older Garrett? Look at that. Hell of a difference. Well, in the soil, and I don't know whether I've just got a knackered one, so I can't say this for all the probes, but in the soil, the mine lab compared to the Garrett isn't as good at all. Nowhere near. The Garrett is much clearer, much deeper, and much quicker to find the target. To say I'm disappointed, it's probably an understatement. I'm coming up to a thousand videos on YouTube now and this is the nearest I've been to swearing in any of them. Spent 125 quid on this and it is not performing how it was promised. The people who I got it off told me that it went about two centimeters deeper than the Garrett which is a canny bit. That's a lot. Um, in the soil it doesn't go as deep as the Garrett, at least my probe doesn't go as deep as the Garrett. In the air, yes, it does go a little bit deeper, and yes, it has got a better light, and yes, it does tell you if you lose it, because it beeps after about three minutes. Is that enough to warrant spending 125 quid, as opposed to 85, 90 quid on the Garrett? Not at all. It's Sunday now, Monday morning, I'm going to be on the phone to the people who I bought this off, tell them my gripes and if I don't get any satisfaction it's going back and I'm going to swap it for the Garrett. Could be I've got a dodgy one, don't get me wrong, the Mebby's not all like this but I wasn't overly impressed with the air tests considering the cost of it and the time Mine Lab have had to more or less copy the Garrett probe and the soil tests when I'm actually out in the field are very disappointing indeed. Thanks for watching.